10 years ago, I planted this hedge and I've maintained it at this height. I'm gonna share with you the tricks to having a cedar hedge and how you can make it thrive. The emerald cedar hedge, also known as Thuya occidentalis or an arborvitae, but if you plant a lot of them, we just call them cedars. Now, I like to start planting these when they're five feet high or six feet. Now, there's two types of hedging you can do, formal or informal. If you have a small garden like this, most homeowners will opt for a formal hedge, and that means that it's dense and tightly spaced, in which case, in between each tree is a distance of a foot and a half. So I'll plant one at a foot and a half and then the other one. If you like the look of a dense hedge that's nice and tight like this formal, you're gonna wanna trim it with a hedge trimmer once a year, early April before the growing season start. That's gonna encourage new growth and new shoots. Now I get asked this a lot. If you have a small backyard, you can actually plant cedars right next to your fence. Take a look. See there, we have the fence we have the hedge and that is completely acceptable. Your shrubs will absolutely thrive. They will just be brown where the fence is, where the sun is, a good view for the neighbor because they see the tops of the hedge and it's a great view for us. And the great thing about hedging is we are hiding a very ugly lot like this with our hedge. Let's take a look at the transformation between seeing this and then coming inside. It's like it doesn't even exist. And that is entirely the point. When you have a hedging like this, you're creating a little cocoon of green for yourself in your backyard. Whatever's on the other side of the hedge doesn't matter. But a key consideration is how high do you want your hedge to be? We have set it at eight feet. You could set it at six feet and maintain it at six feet. It's entirely up to you, but you do have options. I want you to come over here now and take a look at this cedar hedge right here that I planted. If you have a raised deck situation or you want really high instantaneous privacy with hedging, this here is actually a white cedar hedge. Now, what I like about it is you can buy these at 10 feet and you can get, these actually grow super, super fast. And this is actually a 12 foot hedge that I have maintained at this height. You might wanna maintain it a little lower if you want, that is also totally appropriate. The reason I have gone with a white cedar hedge here in this case is that these I can buy at a taller height at 10 feet. They grow faster, they're cheaper, and they require less light and less maintenance. These might grow about 18 inches a year once established, and you get instantaneous privacy. Six feet on the other side of this deck is our neighbor's deck, and you can't even see them, which is great here in the city. Now, if you like the look of an informal hedge, these have just been left to grow wild, and they look absolutely beautiful, and they are very tall. They are screening out a second floor window. This also goes to show we planted those trees before our neighbors, but they let theirs grow. So if you want, you can let it grow wild and untamed. That's also a beautiful look. The two biggest considerations you need to know about cedars is they love sunshine. It's a gorgeous day. They want six hours minimum of sunshine. Secondly, but most importantly, really water. You actually wanna go down to where the trunk is and I like to count from one all the way up to 60. That's a good, nice, thorough watering. Now, even better than a garden hose is to use a seeper hose. It's a lot easier for these reasons right here. It will save you money. It's efficient, better way to water. Now, when it comes to fertilizing, you definitely want to go with slow release. I'll apply this right before the growing season, usually in early April, mid-April. And I like slow release because you can just sprinkle it around the base of your tree. And I will link this in the description for you guys. One of the biggest reasons why we're seeing so many homeowners planting hedges now is because it makes you happy. If you have a backyard that is green, it is going to be more calming, more relaxing, and more restorative to you. I'm Deiru, everyone. If you want more great tips on how to make your home and garden even better, check out this video right here and right here. I'll see you in the next one.